God can and will refocus you. It's important to focus on God than anything else in this world because our life on here is limited and you want to make sure you have eternal life in heaven with Him. Hey, it's Jess. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 23 things I learned in 2023. There are some personal things in my life and life lessons I've learned in 2023. So let's get started with the first one, which is the most important. So this is why I kept it as number one. I did learn more about Jesus this year. I've always been Christian in my life, but I never really read the Bible. Until this year, I started reading it and been going to church more and growing my relationship with Jesus. So a lot of stuff I did learn this year is going to be about God. And you'll see how it relates to my life and how it can relate to your life. Now, number two, let's do some personal ones that I've discovered for myself in my daily life. I learned that eggs aren't dairy. I always get confused that it's dairy because every time I get like a sandwich, like a breakfast sandwich, it has eggs and cheese. Now, I'm lactose intolerant. I didn't think of it at the time like it was the cheese. I always thought, oh, it has to be the eggs. No, it was the cheese because, you know, I it's like a little piece of cheese. Why would that be irritating me? Now I know I can have eggs because I've literally been making eggs all the time and it doesn't hurt my stomach, so it was the cheese. And on that note, add almond milk in my coffee instead of cream. And of course I add sugar. But the point is, either if I make it at my house or when I go to a coffee shop, ask for almond milk instead of cream. And that like made a big difference for me. I always get a stomach ache after having Dunkin' Donuts coffee if I don't ask for almond milk. I'm happy that I figured that out this year. <laughs> so number four, don't be hard on yourself. This was a life lesson for everybody. I feel like I am hard on myself, but I gotta remember life is not easy and I'm not perfect and life isn't supposed to be perfect. You're not expected to do everything, you know what I mean? You can't be perfect. Which actually brings us to number five, and it's okay to make mistakes. God did create us to have free will and make our own choices. God does want to love us and he also wants us to love him. And we all do have that choice. Don't wait until it's too late. And it's not too late right now if you're watching this. So number six, live in the moment and don't let social media ruin the moment. Because I feel like if I try to like record it, capture it, make it perfect for social media, I'll lose that moment. I won't be in the moment and will be rushed or I wouldn't be present because I'm trying to make it perfect for social media. <laughs> Even when I'm dressing up for myself and not going anywhere fancy, I forget to take a picture because I'm truly living in the moment. Which brings us to number seven. Appreciating the little things in my life. I am blessed even if I'm not wealthy, but I'm rich in God's eyes. It could be a lot worse for me. At least I have a room and food. And I know it's because of Jesus, so I don't have to worry about um, where I'm going to live. So number eight, I did learn to listen to Christian music to uplift my mood. Instead of listening to songs that are popular nowadays that lower your mood. Christian music does have a soothing effect and lifts up my mood and brings me closer to God. It could do the same for you if you let it. It's kind of the same thing with what you watch. You do have to be careful of everything nowadays because there's a lot of propaganda. I'm not saying only watch Christian videos, but you just gotta be mindful what you watch and don't let it influence you. I think this is mainly towards kids because they're very impressionable and them watching a lot of things a lot of kids' movies and kids' shows are starting to add in things, putting it in their minds that it's okay to do certain things, which is not okay. They're too young to be um, learning this, think that way, and that's why a lot of kids are confused and lost. They need help. Hopefully, they will find God, and God can help them and point them to the right path. Actually, looking back at old shows I used to watch when I was a teen, I didn't realize how bad it was then, but now that I am aware, I don't let it influence me anymore. All right, number 10, this one. I wasn't sure if I was gonna include it, but working retail sucks. It does. I honestly knew this for a while now, but it just gets worse and worse every year. But the real reason isn't the job itself, it's the customers. They are rude, mean, careless. They treat us like machines and not humans. I try to be nice to other retail workers because I know how it is and I wouldn't want to be treated that way. 
It doesn't help that they don't pay us enough, but I don't know what kind of money would be enough and be treated that way. Which brings us to the next one, a reminder to be kind to others. In Ephesians 4.32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. This is still something I'm working on because if someone's in a bad mood, it brings my mood down too. I'm trying to work on that. Sometimes I have to bite my tongue. I'm still getting angry in my head, right? So that's still not being kind, which is why you should surround yourself with positive people. If the people you're around are always negative Nancy, then how are you ever gonna be positive? It's gonna bring your mood down and you're gonna be negative yourself. But I do get it if you live with someone like that and that's kind of hard to get away from. Just try your best to keep your distance and pray to God about it. Number 13, forgiveness sets you free. And this is so true. To forgive doesn't mean to forget, but to let go of that anger for that person that wronged you. Yes, I still do get angry, but for a short period of time, then I remember to forgive like Jesus did. Because we want to live a joyful and happy life, not one filled with hatred. So I don't hold any grudges for anyone, even those rude customers. They may be having a bad day and we don't know what's going through their life. I closed the blinds and now the lighting's so much better. Like, the heck? Who would have known? Anyways, the next two are gonna be more personal things I learned. I did learn how to sew on my mini sewing machine I got from Timu. I never um, sewed on a machine before and I know how to do it, I know how to work it. But it's mini so it doesn't really sew clothes it's hard to fit it in there so little things i know how to sew so i'm not a pro yet but i'm learning every day we're learning and i know how to hand sew better too so i'm happy i'm able to do that but i'm constantly learning and getting better as anyone you know you constantly learn which brings us to <laughs> number 15. i learned how to cook more i've haven't really cooked for myself and this was one of my goals to cook more and I did. I learned how to cook cube steak, eggs, and pancakes, and ooh, a good one, mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. I know those are easy things, but for me, I'm, I have no experience, so yeah, I have to start somewhere. I want to constantly learn more cooking and baking, maybe. You know, it's really easy to bake like brownies and cookies. I already knew how to do that. <laughs> Number 16 is God can and will refocus you. It's important to focus on God than anything else in this world because our life on here is limited and you wanna make sure you have eternal life in heaven with him. So I'm focusing on my relationship with God more and not stuff like the amount of social media followers I have. So number 17, I learned that God has a plan for me and for everyone. I don't know what it is yet, but I am figuring out my life. I am doing YouTube right now, but I might take a different approach. I was thinking of making a new channel, but that's a lot of work. So the other option is I could try to post other kinds of content on here besides fashion. Fashion content is very saturated everywhere. And you know, I do like dressing up, but a lot of girls do too as well. Not every girl on social media posts about fashion. They do multiple things. So I was thinking I'll still do fashion, but I want to like change it up. So let me know what other kinds of content would you be interested in seeing. Number 18, I learned to have patience. A lot of patience, trust me. <laughs> this one goes with the last one as well. Things will happen when it's supposed to on God's time. I might not understand what's going on right now, but I will make sense in the future. And I truly believe that. I have faith. Number 19, don't be peer pressured into doing things. Like you might not actually want to do something, but everyone else is. Doesn't mean you should do it though. Example is with me, I'm a content creator. So like sometimes I feel pressure to do the trends. So I try to make it my own a lot of the times or I try to make my own trends, you know? So it's a hit or miss for me on my channel, but I'm not worried about that right now. So if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Just think for yourself. That was number 20. Think for yourself. And don't compare yourself to others. Everyone is unique and everyone has their own path in life. Of course, with the support of God, that can help you be more successful, but in your own way. You know, it might be, look easier for others, but we don't know the true story about everybody. God does give me the strength to do things I couldn't do on my own. Like there's times where I was scared to do things and I prayed beforehand and I did it. So number 22, it doesn't have to make sense to others. People aren't gonna understand some things you do and that's okay. 
they don't know where you're coming from and it shouldn't matter what other people think. If I feel in my heart, if I need to do something, I'm gonna do it. Cause that might be God telling me to do it. So I'm not gonna care what other people think and it only has to make sense to me. Number 23, I'm gonna end it on this because, you know, it's kind of like what my channel is about. It doesn't matter what you wear, right? As long as you're confident and comfortable. Especially at my church when I dress up. Sometimes I feel out of place because mostly everyone is dressed casual. But I remember it doesn't matter what I wear as long as I show up. So that was all 23 things I learned in 2023. Hope this video inspired you to learn new things. And if you learned anything from this video, let me know down below. Or you can let me know what you learned in your life this year. And it doesn't have to be life lessons. It could be anything you learned because everybody learns something every day. I do plan on making a video next year which is not too far from now. Uh, New Year's resolution, revising my goals, making new goals. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.